What's up everyone? It's Austin here. Today what we're going to be doing, we're going to be cutting up my hood. I ordered some hood vents for the red hood that I have for the Mustang. What we're going to be doing is cutting out some holes in the hood and installing the hood vents. So as I've mentioned in some other videos, I picked up a uh, Juraflex Shelby GT500 hood. I've been working on this for a little bit. It's a fiberglass mold and the mold was terrible. This is another reason why the red hood is going to be the primary hood and the main hood until this is finished up. Just figured I'd give you guys a little view of shot on how the car is looking with the Shelby hood on it. So this is the red hood here. Here's the vents I got. Carbon fiber, not real carbon fiber. So what I've done with the hood so far is I've lined up where the vents are gonna go and then what I did was I taped off the bottom of the vents I put a little bit of paint on the tape and then I placed the vents in position where I want them to go you can see the little markings there from the paint and then I taped off a border of where I'm gonna cut it's just a matter of cutting and fitting in the vents now and if some of you remember, there was a nasty dent here, so I've pulled that out and done a little bit of body filler to get it all straight again. Same thing over here, just fix the edge, the corner. This is going to be the primary hood until the Shelby hood is fixed. So, we'll get cutting. Alright, so we got one cut out. Obviously, I've left room that you could slide it left, right on each side. How they are going to be installed when they are installed is 3M tape's going to go around the edge here and they'll just sit in like so i could glue them down or something like that but i want them so that they're removable you know in case i want to color match them or whatever the case may be so i've got one done time to do the second one so i've got the hood all pretty much cut out now driver's side here i need to trim it back a bit just to even things out so i'm gonna give you guys a quick little view i think i'm gonna put some little like mesh plastic pieces behind there just to keep from any sort of debris or anything going in like leaves rocks whatever pretty much just need to trim it down a bit make sure it all lines up and then gonna be sanded down a little bit more and then it's time to prime it and then we will be painting it So the hood's primed, red spray paint, it's just a guide coat. Pretty much gonna block it down and get it ready for paint now. Half the hood is locked down at 320 grit right now. The little red patches are some low spots and need to be filled in a bit. I still got this side to go, but I can tell the difference just by the sound of the cloth. Gonna finish block sanding the top down and work on sanding the bottom. Then the bottom will be primed once. That'll be sanded down and then the top will be primed one more time over. And then it'll be sanded down and prepped for paint. I'm gonna have to file down the inside of where I cut here. So I got the top side all smoothed out here on the edges. Bottom side, I'm going to have to do the same thing so there's no rough edges. So I've got the hood flipped upside down now and there's not really too much to do. I'm going to be smoothing out the cuts from the bottom side here, just kind of rounding them out so that they're not so sharp. There's a couple spots here where the paint's starting to bubble little corrosion areas so i'm going to be sanding those down and the rest of it i'll just be kind of scratching up with a scuff pad and that should be good for primer got all the edges here smoothed out a bit all the spots that had a uh, corrosion here i just took a mini flap disc got rid of it all and now the rest of it can be scuffed down we're gonna start doing that now all right so now that the bottom of the hood is sanded all that's left is to pretty much clean it and then prime it once it's primed we'll be giving it a 
little scuff down just like we did here just to get it ready for paint just giving you a quick little look at what we did and how it's all looking now so the bottom side's all primed now just gonna let it dry for a little bit it's already pretty dry to the touch like i said i was only doing one light coat we're just gonna scuff it down get it ready for paint flip it over and reprime it just gonna let this dry for a bit then we'll get to sanding and scuffing it down, flip it over. We'll do the other side and we'll go from there. So as you guys can see, we've got the bottom of the hood now all sanded and um, scuffed down. It's ready for paint. The hood is all painted, or at least painted enough for me. There is a cover, so I'm not too worried uh, about the paint. I just want it to get it matching the same color. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna be laying down the clear coat. Did two coats and then kind of just did like a dust coat to even out the metallic. Usually don't do that just with this specific paint. It's weird how it lays down. It's really hard to explain unless you're there in person watching it. Clear coat time. And just like that, the bottom side is all done. Turned out pretty decent for a lousy spray, I'd say. That's another reason why I did back-to-back -back coats on the clear, because it's a speed clear. It dries within 20 minutes. Coat time is recommended between two and four minutes, waiting be between coats. So it's pretty much what I did. Gave it about a minute or two and then started up on the other side. This clear coat is mainly meant for small parts like bumpers and things like that but I decided to give it a go and use it on the bottom side of the hood here just so that I could uh, flip it over and get started on the top quicker it turned out all right it's a bit of a cloudy day so I'll get a flashlight here get a look at the metallic down the first coat here pretty much the final steps now probably gonna give it another coat or two let's see how it matches up with the lip that I have and uh, for those wondering why I had the lip and why I brought it so close to the bumper I'll bring you over to the lip actually the lip is paint matched already and it's a perfect paint match so what I'm doing is I'm using this piece right here to match up the paint. So as soon as the paint on the hood looks the same as that, and it's the same tone, then I'll know that it's completely paint matched. So all along the edge here, once it's clear coated, uh, I'll be scuffing it up probably with like 320, 400, just to get some grooves and some scratches where the panel bond's gonna sit. And that'll just let it um, stick and sit a bit better. And then what I think I'm going to do underneath, I have some scrap aluminum sheet. So I think I'm going to outline it once it's all in place. And then I'll put an aluminum cover underneath and just rivet it in with small rivets. It'll give it a nice clean look. Final steps here. It's coming along. I hope you guys enjoy the process. If you like what you see, leave a comment. Leave a thumbs up, like, all that stuff. And uh, let us know. We could do more videos like this. hood is done now partially done so I'm not too happy with how it turned out show some of the spots that are bugging me um, there's the one right over here 
has a, a nice beard hair so I'm not too happy about that there was some dust and stuff that ended up getting through the gun on the paint it's no big deal what I ended up doing was I just finished spraying it I clear coated over it along this side there's uh, some tiger stripes going on once this is dry I will give it a wet sand what I will do is I will just kind of feather everything in smoothen it out and then we'll go from there and pretty much just give it one more coat even it out get rid of those tiger stripes then we'll re-clear it and then uh, should be good to install. One thing I'm also going to do is, I don't know if I've mentioned it already, but I will be sanding the edges down just because I am doing panel bond for the hood vents. You got holes in the hood. There's no point in taking them out. I'm just going to panel bond them just to prevent them from ever coming loose, coming up. There will be sanding involved in the clear coat for that specifically depending on how the respray goes i might wet sand it and buff it just to get rid of some of the orange peel and some of the haze which there is some here i don't know how well we're gonna be able to see it on camera but there's some haze some orange peel going on but like i said i wasn't too happy with how it turned out kind of just went with it finished it up for the day and uh, we'll fix it another day. At this point, we're 90% we're done. When painting outside, things like this happen. Bugs and dust are your worst enemy, especially with the wind. And today, we got a breeze coming straight through here. So that's how some of the dust got on there. We got little flies and stuff. They love the, the smell of paint because of how sweet it smells to them, I guess. Painting outside, you do get imperfections like this, but it's fixable. Wanted to give you guys a little bit of a explanation as to what it's going to be done from here on out but we are 90% done with this and um, I apologize for the background noise it's Thanksgiving weekend there's not much I can do over the weekend I picked up a billet gas cap here I'll just give you guys a little sneak peek there I'm blacking it out like the rest of the back end of the car the trunk and all that so I figured this would go well with the the wheels and everything else give it that retro look and if you could stop spinning that'd be great we want to see what you look like yeah that was also fun to spray like that just giving you guys a little update if you like this kind of content you like all this stuff give it a thumbs up subscribe let us know in the comments down below what you want to see I don't know exactly how this video is gonna work out so I don't know if it's just me and you guys or if Tyler's gonna do a little intro or something like that. Let us know how you guys like the video. For you guys, it's 20, 30 minutes, if that. For me, this is days of work. I hope you guys appreciate all the effort that we've put into making these videos. I wish we could have done more filming through the painting process of the Mustang, but based off of, you know, where I was painting it at the time and just how things were working out between me and Ty. We weren't able to meet up and arrange that, but we did want to get some painting clips in. So we figured this would be perfect. It's not only is it, you know, finishing up the car, but you get to see a little bit of uh, some custom work done, things that you wouldn't normally see. Hope you guys have enjoyed it so far and uh, stay tuned. Ba, 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 ba.